are listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Pilato. You are listening to Your Morning Monarchy for Wednesday, February 8th, 2017. I'm James Evan Pilato from MediaMonarchy.com. A man charged with arson based partly on data collected from his pacemaker pleaded not guilty Tuesday to setting his Ohio home on fire. Authorities have said gasoline was found on Ross Compton's clothing and that the fire started in multiple places. But Lieutenant Jimmy Cunningham told WLWT-TV the medical data represented some of the key pieces of evidence in the case. Compton's home telephone number is disconnected, and his attorney didn't immediately return a call seeking comment Tuesday. But Comet, Compton rather, previously told WLWT that the investigation had gone way out of control and that he had no motive whatsoever to burn down my house. Compton told authorities that when he saw the fire September 19th inside his Middletown home, he packed some belongings in a suitcase and bags, broke a window with his cane, and threw his items through the window before carrying them to his car. He also said he had a cardiac pacemaker. Court records show that police got a search warrant to retrieve electronic data stored on the heart device. The data included Compton's heart rate, pacer demand, and cardiac rhythms before, during, and after the fire pacemaker, as you may or may not know, monitors the heart and helps control irregular heart rhythms. The information is recorded and can be retrieved for analysis. Cardiologists determined that it was, quote, highly improbable, end quote, due to his medical conditions that Compton could do all the collecting, packing, and removal of items from his house and then carry them in the short period of time he indicated. Police have said, Statements they received from Compton were inconsistent with the evidence they gathered. They've also said that they gave statements conflicting with what he had told a dispatcher. Compton, 59, pleaded not guilty Tuesday in Butler County Commons Pleas Court to aggravated arson and insurance fraud charges. The case has raised privacy concerns from the Electronic Frontier Foundation. Stephanie LaCombra, defense attorney with the San Francisco-based EFF, said in an email that Americans shouldn't have to make a choice between health and privacy. We as a society value our rights to maintain privacy over personal and medical information, and compelling citizens to turn over protected health data to law enforcement erodes those rights. Fire officials have said the blaze at Compton's home caused about $400,000 worth of damage. We as a society value our rights to maintain privacy over personal and medical information, and compelling citizens to turn over protected health data to law enforcement erodes those rights, except you're not compelling the citizen. Did they ask the citizen for the information about his heart? No. They went and got that information from his doctor, from the big-time drug dealer. That's where they get the information from. This is the pacemaker panopticon. And I think in some ways that's this is sort of how we pick up today's episode in the strange way that we left off yesterday's cyberspace war edition. That would be monkeys on Tinder. Today you've got your pacemaker panopticon where your parts of your body, which are slowly becoming electronic as the transhumanism agenda moves on. Your body will lie on you. Your body will tell on you. That's why they're rigging it all up with biometrics. It's what they've been doing, and that's what they'll continue to do. So what an interesting case. Oh, my house burned down. No, it didn't. There's no way you could have packed all that stuff and moved all of those things out the window in the amount of time that you said. You would have had a heart attack and not been able to do it. So even the hearts are watching people. You're listening to Media Monarchy with James Evan Filato. Since 2005, Media Monarchy has covered the real news about politics, health, technology and the occult all remixed with music and media that matters go to mediamonarchy.com slash support and become a monthly subscriber so you can help keep independent non-commercial alternative media going and growing thanks